we present a study to evaluate the efficiency of physical visualizations. 3D visualizations can be useful, but are also often difficult to navigate or to perceive accurately. At the same time, we are very proficient in manipulating and perceiving 3D objects in real life. So could this also apply to 3D physical visualizations, such as this data sculpture showing a world map of GDP and derivatives volume, or this physical visualization of electricity consumption built to better anticipate power demands? To answer this question, we ran an experiment where we compared similar designs of physical 3D bar charts and on-screen 3D bar charts. The first condition, called physical, involved hand-sized physical 3D bar charts showing the value of country indicators such as birth rates for 10 countries over 10 years. We built 13 such bar charts using digital fabrication technology. The mono condition was a 3D model that could be rotated with a mouse. Users could also switch between a perspective and an orthographic view and highlight the bars of their choice. We added two control conditions, stereo, a stereoscopic rendering of the on-screen 3D bar charts, and 2D, an interactive 2D technique featuring a matrix overview and a detailed 2D bar chart that could be displayed by clicking or crossing rows or columns. Participants used a touch tablet to read instructions and questions and to enter responses. For each condition, participants had to complete three types of tasks. The first task asked to indicate the minimum and maximum indicator value across all years for one country, here Italy. The second task required to look at all indicator values for one year, here 1990, and order all countries ascendingly. For the third task, participants were asked to find three non-adjacent values and indicate which one had the lowest value, here Canada in 1996. This figure shows the pairwise comparisons between conditions in terms of average task completion times. A value of 1 means there is no difference overall. A value of 0.8, for example, means that the first condition took an average 20% less time than the second. We expected on-screen 3D bar charts to be slightly faster on a stereoscopic display, but found no significant difference. As expected, the interactive 2D control condition was faster than all 3D conditions. As for 3D conditions, physical bar charts were faster than on-screen conditions. So although the interactive 2D technique was still the fastest of all, making the 3D bar charts physical improved user performance and information retrieval tasks. Now the question is why? Analyzing video recordings gives some hints about the answer. Participants did not receive any instructions on how to use the physical visualizations, but they ended up making extensive use of their fingers to temporarily mark single bars for the compare task, or to keep track which bars were already processed for the order task. Although bars could also be highlighted on the screen, this was not as effective as directly placing fingers on physical bars. User feedback also suggested it was more difficult to visually track items of interest when rotating bar charts on the screen. So it could be that the indirect mapping between mouse movements and rotations of the 3D bar chart made the tasks more difficult. A third difference was in the degree of visual realism. A physical bar chart provides all dev cues necessary to accurate 3D perception, while our on-screen 3D bar charts were only a poor imitation of what real-world objects really look like, even when stereoscopic rendering was used. We ran a second experiment to estimate the relative importance of these three factors. We implemented a technique where on-screen 3D bar charts were rotated with a physical prop instead of a mouse. The physical prop consisted of a wireless absolute rotation sensor attached to a physical bar chart. This bar chart displayed irrelevant data and participants were told to focus on the data shown on the screen. The second experiment also involved four conditions. The first condition, touch, was similar to the previous physical condition, but participants were encouraged to touch the bars. To assess the importance of physical touch, we compared this condition to a no-touch condition where participants were instructed not to use finger marking. To assess the importance of visual realism, we compared this condition to a prop condition where bar charts were manipulated physically but rendered on the screen and where bar highlighting was disabled. Finally, to assess the importance of physical object manipulation, we compared this prop condition to a mouse condition where highlighting was also disabled. We only used the compare task from the first experiment. Our results suggest that being able to directly touch the bar charts was critical to carry out the tasks. Since the no-touch condition outperformed the prop condition, visual realism might also have played a role. In contrast, being able to inspect objects by directly manipulating them was less important, as the mouse performed similar than the physical prop. So one key benefit with physical visualizations is that they can be directly touched. Touch allows users to effectively unload cognitive effort into the physical world. Accurate visual dev cues may also facilitate information retrieval. These two factors are difficult to faithfully reproduce in virtual setups. Overall, our study suggests that even static physical visualizations can be useful, and building them with digital fabrication tools seems appropriate, both for research and for personal use. We believe that research on shape-changing surfaces and materials will eventually allow to combine the power of computing with the unique features of physical visualizations.